So welcome back to the Art of Crochet blog and this is square number 50. Uh, we've got this lovely periwinkle yarn um, and I've already started so I've made my chain of six and joined that into a circle and then the um, I've got to do 12 double crochets into that uh, circle and I think I've done 11 so far so I'm just going to do one more so let's count see how many we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve there we are and then uh, join that with a slip stitch into the beginning there and now we're going to do some double treble clusters and uh, we did these uh, in another square quite recently let's snip that off the end because it's getting in the way and we start off with by making a a three chain and, and one double treble that's with uh, the two yarn overs there there we are and then we're going to do two chains in between each one and the double treble cluster into that next stitch so that's our first sort of faux cluster if you like um, and then we do there we are two chains and then we'll start off in the next one uh, next stitch there so do the first two parts of the stitch only and then all the way through and then another two chain oh I need to get some more more yarn and another two chain and then the next cluster into there so keep going all the way around until you've worked um, 12 clusters all together with two chain in between each Okay, so at the end of the second round, you should have 12 of these double crochet clusters. Uh, and for the next round, we start off with a four chain, which is the standing chain for a double crochet. So let's see what's going on there. In the previous round, we were doing clusters, which are slightly shorter than a double crochet. So that's why we only had a three chain standing chain. Uh, and this one we've got um, uh, four chain because it's this and we're going to work back into this space that we're in here and it's not uh, we're going to do two trebles now so I imagine that that's a uh, beginnings of a corner happening there so this is the round where we do the square shaping now the next space uh, over here I'm going to jump to there and we're going to do three trebles And then in the next space we do two trebles and one double treble. So there we are, one double treble. Three chain and then the rest of the corner in the next space and so normally we do the corner all in the same place so in the next corner we reverse the shaping and do a double treble and then two trebles so we'll just do this and then we'll see what it looks like and then it all begins to make sense once you can actually see it okay so here we are aha there we are look it makes sense so if you follow it through, um, there's your corner and then uh, we repeat the whole thing so there'll be uh, another three trebles and so on and the corner goes over two spaces. Okay so here we are near the end of that tricky round and we have to do uh, two trebles and one double treble in this 
final space. Then just one chain. And then I'm going to join with a half treble. So that will make up for the uh, the other bits of that chain. And then one, two, three, there we are. And that's the end of round three. Now that was, um, it was slightly complicated to see written down, but it worked okay once we got going. Now the next round is much more straightforward. Um, and we're just going to do trebles across here. So we want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we start there. Um, trebles across here. And we start off with uh, a three chain and one treble um, in the corner. And then uh, trebles all down the side. And I think the um, trying to go under both bars where you can. And the corners are straightforward two treble, two treble, three chain, two treble when you get to it. Uh, so that will be round four. So here's the uh, right at the end of that round of trebles, which is the fourth round. And we're going to do a half treble into uh, that top to join it. There we go. And then the next round is all about double crochet. So start off with one chain and uh, two double crochet in that corner. And then we're going to do one double crochet in each of the next 13 stitches. So I'm just going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we start there. 13 is lucky for some. That's what I say. So keep going down the row, doing double crochets. Uh, and then we're nearly there. Home stretch. So at the end of this last bit, you do your two chain and join it to the top and fasten off. And that bit was all uh, nice and calm, wasn't it, the last two rows? And there we are. And don't forget to label your square. Here we are. I can't believe round 50 already. We've done 50 of these things. Okay. Happy crocheting.